Hello everyone, today I'll be animating a storyboard or what's called animatics. In order to do that I'll be using Adobe Premiere After Effects and Photoshop. Okay, first things first, I need a storyboard open in Photoshop and I need to layer this um, image into the number of items I want to animate. In this case I have an arrow here I have a police car and the background. I also need some uh, sound effects. In this case, I'm going to show you the files I have. This is an Arrow, it's a PNG file. I have a Batman motorbike, which is also a PNG. And also have this background here. Of course, few sound effects. That I'll be using to animate this little scene here. And let's start by creating a, an After Effects file. New project. I'm going to create the composition. New compositional command N. And I'll type scene 0, 1. Oh, the size is going to be 19, 20, 4, 10, 80. And 30 frames per second. I hit OK, and now I need to import my media. Command I to import. Look for your folders and scene one. And I have this arrow, this Batman arrow, Batman motorbike, and background. Oh, and police car. And I hit open, and now I have all these items here. Um, in order to keep it organized, I like to create folders. Just go down here, hit on the folder icon, and name it accordingly. Then click and drag all your media inside. Leave the scene outside, to so it's quite handy to keep it there. Okay, now I need to start setting my images on the timeline. So I'm going to start with the background, which is this one. Simply click and drag, drop it down there. Now you can see it doesn't really match the scene for my uh, movie. And this is something we need to be very careful when we plan this uh, animatic. So make sure that your images are proportional to the size of your final quick time movie. Okay. In this case, and uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to stretch it out. Um, just want to make sure that the name is um, right here so I don't get confused later and the next step is to bring the police car which is here same story just click and drag put it on top of the background there you go what we like to do now is to animate this car moving from the left to the right and probably stopping somewhere here so I'm just going to place this outside somewhere there make sure you have selected this layer and then hit P and keyframe. Okay, you should see a keyframe here on frame one. Now I just want to move forward a few frames and then move my car towards the front somewhere here. Check the animation, seems to be okay. You can press the space bar. I need to apply the ECN and uh, ECS. Um, effect. So I select both, fr both frames, right click, go to keyframe assistant, and then ECS. Okay, now you see that these icons have changed. And test again. There you go. Okay, I'm going to collapse these two layers, and I'm going to bring now um, this little arrow here. I just click and drag, put it on the top. Now this arrow is just for effects. Um, when you do the storyboard, you can show, you can indicate the direction the object is moving. In this case, I want this arrow to move alongside with the car. So I'm just going to place the arrow out there, somewhere here. And I want this to move uh, with the car. So I'm going to attach this arrow to this layer. I'm going to select the arrow here and I'm going to 
click on this little button, this parent and link here, and I'm going to drag and drop it here on this police car so that the arrow will follow this uh, element here. So I click and drag, drop it there, and now you can test and then you can see how the arrow is moving. I place the arrow um, in the wrong place, so I'm just going to select this arrow and I'm just going to bring it down a little bit here. Okay, there you go. Okay, so I would like to add some sound effects. In order to do that, I'm going to do Command R again, and I'm going to look for the tire scratch here. I hit Open, and now I have it um, here in a brand new scene. I don't want that, so I'm just going to remove this scene. Just click here and remove. Yes, I want to delete it and go back to scene one. Double click. There you go, and then you have your uh, media here. So I'm going to click and drag. And I'm going to put it somewhere here. If you check your movie by pressing a space bar, you can get the sound. It's not coordinated. That's what we're going to do now. Right, so I just need to move this um, sound effect towards the right and synchronize it with the motion. Just going to move it a little bit back, probably make it shorter here. Also, you might need to adjust the movement in the police car. So I'm going to move this, go into this layer, um, expand it, go into transform, expand this again and look for position, which is what we need to um, fix. So I'm going to get the last frame, the last keyframe, sorry. I'm going to move it a little bit back here and then this one uh, get it closer and check. Uh, we keep on adjusting this as we add more and more elements, but for now I'm just going to keep it like this. Now what I would like to do is to import sound of uh, the police car. So I'm going to do Command I and I'm going to get this police scanner talk. Okay, hit open. It's exactly the same story. I don't need this scene here because these are movies. So I don't, don't really need this. I just need the sound, which is uh, here. Just click and drag, put it down here, and then let's check. It's quite important to check this little um, selection here because I'm selecting. I'm actually previewing everything on full resolution, so I can actually knock it down to a quarter. So if your computer is running, uh, running slow, you should be able to um, fix it. Okay, let's check. Dorset, what's the feature trooper about a male subject? Right now, while the car stays in this position, I would like to apply an effect which is wiggle, I think, so the car will look like, like it's moving up and down, like the engine of uh, the motor is running. So I'm going to window and I look for effects and presets. And over here, just going to type wiggle and the one I need, I reckon is this wiggle position. So I click and drag it on the police car layer. Okay, if you want to edit that uh, wiggle effect, go down to the police car layer, click on this tiny arrow, um, expand this effect layer here. Okay, and then you get the wiggle position and transform. This is the one we need to um, play around with. Okay. Okay, so now it's a matter of keep keeping on um, adding more elements and to compose your animation. I have prepared another file, so I'll show you what I ended up with. Okay, so this is my file already finalized. And um, 
I add, added more elements here. Dorset. What's the feature trooper about a male subject that's right. And I also prepare a second scene. Okay, so I'm going back to scene one, go to file, I'm going to export. And in this case, I want to add to render queue. You can use the this um, uh, AME but for this case I'll use this render cube click there and I'm going to play around with these settings this is going to be best here that's okay <coughs> make sure your frame rate is 30 all this should be all right I'm going to the output module here and um, I'll keep it as a quick time make sure your audio is uh, being exported hit OK and then I'm going to call this scene 1 here it's going to select the location which is going to be on the desktop storyboard I'm going to call it scene 1 MOV hit save and then render here so I'm just going to have a look my scene is here and I just check it I want to do the same with my second scene okay so I have scene 1 and scene 2 now I can um, do the premiere file so I'm going to open premiere create a new project I'm going to create it on the desktop probably a new folder I'll call it Premiere Animatic create choose I'm going to call this Batman OK OK now I'm going to import the two um, QuickTime movies they are here scene 1 and scene 2 hit import this I'm just gonna get number one here I'm gonna get number two here and check basically this is what you do you try to get all your images from After Effects bring them into Premiere and compose your entire um, animatic now what I'm going to do is uh, apply a couple of transitions probably an intro and um, then I'll export the final movie right so I want to have a transition here okay so I'm just going into effects down here I'm going to look for video transitions and you don't need to do this but in case you can just uh, apply it if you want okay now I want to apply an audio transition here in the audio layer so I'm going to audio transitions crossfade and constant power so I just put it at the end of the audio track of my first uh, clip right like this and then I'm going to apply the same one right at the beginning of the second one and then I'll check okay now I would like to add a universal counting leader which is this counting uh, countdown clock that you see uh, at the beginning of some movies so I'm just going to select these two clips moving towards the right and then go to uh, file new and in here you have universal counting leader and then just hit OK that should be alright just hit OK OK and then if you go back to your project here then you have it here just click and drag and then select all this and bring it back in order to do that just click this tool 
or A on your keyboard and then when you click there you basically select everything. Now you should be able to trim this down if you want just uh, <coughs> go down here and then just click and drag and fix it as you want. Okay, hit A on my keyboard and then move everything back and check. Now I might I want might want to have a transition here. So I'm just going to hit V to my selection tool, go into effects and I look for uh, video transition, dissolve and a cross dissolve and I put it just right at the beginning of my um, video track just hit OK and there you go perhaps the last thing I want to do is to get this cross dissolve just right at the end to have a fade out and um, I might want to apply an audio transition again a constant power at the end of the audio track so the sound the sound as well as the um video just fade out okay so i just need to export it then go to file export or command m then you can export it. I, I use the following settings, which is H264. Um, and I'm going to check a output name and location. Animatic. Hit save. Um, in here, just make sure that this little box is not selected. And um, if you want, just select this uh, BBR to pass okay and then hit export okay it seems that um, it has finished just going to double check we should have our movie ready here door said what the feature trooper about as male subject has Uh, again, organize your files and have a proper workflow and have fun. I think that's all for now. Uh, thank you very much. If you have any question, just um, type it down in the boxes below. Um, there are some links that I'll put in the description if you want to see more tutorials. So that's it for now. Thank you very much.